click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this lecture we'll be seeing how a umts handoff is taking place there are frequencies in which the handoff should take place here we have two different types of handoff one is called as an interfrequency handoff and the other is called as interfrequency handoff hello friends in this lecture we'll be studying the umts handoff handoff means transfer of frequency when the call is going on in umts we have different kinds of handoff which is called as intra frequency handoff and inter frequency handoff in preparing for the soft handoff the mobile station has to acquire or be in synchronization with the other base station remember soft handoff is similar to the cdma handoff that we studied the synchronization is same as cell search and synchronization here the mobile station has got the list of code groups this list of code groups are containing the neighboring cells for which the handover has to take place and this list is continuously updated let us see the different types of handoff that take place here there are two types the first is called the intra frequency handoff and the other is called as inter frequency handoff intra frequency means handing off the cell phone connection to the same frequency but different base station a connection handover between the two base station on the same carrier frequency is performed as soft handoff the mobile station has a connection to both the base station during this type of handoff thus the signal from both the base station are used during this time and the rake receiver processes them as similar to the two paths from multiple signal with two or more fingers see rake receiver looks like an instrument something like this rake receiver comes from the word that is rake that is used for gardening purposes to remove the stone in this rake receiver we can see there are multiple fingers on which the signal is incoming and then the receiver processes the signal for further information remember rake receiver is similar to the rake that has been used for gardening purpose which has multiple fingers or comb like structure so here we are considering a receiver which has two different combs or fingers on which the received signal will be coming from both the base stations and then it will get processed in the mobile station the cell selection for soft handoff can be made by different criteria like signal strength or the received signal strength indicator no particular algorithm is specified in the standard however it is suggested that we divide the cells into active cell and neighboring cell candidates the active cell is where the mobile phone is actually going on and the neighboring cell candidate is the one to which the mobile phone is going to get handed over that will provide the good signal strength for handoff let us see the second type of handoff which is called as a inter frequency handoff this kind of a handoff takes place in situations where the frequency has to be changed that is called as inter frequency handoff maybe the two base stations are employing different carrier frequency and that is why we require an inter frequency handoff because the frequency will change in the other base station or the handover to the other provider system that is we are handing over the phone to the other providers like i mean umts and we are going towards the other versions like gsm then the frequency will change or the mobile station is switching from the tdd mode to the fdd mode or vice versa the inter frequency handoff or handover is a hard handoff during which the connection between the mobile station and the old base station is first interrupted or broken down before the mobile station establishes a new connection with the new base station there are two ways of measuring the signal strength on the frequencies by which the old connection is still active the first method is that the mobile station might have two receivers so that one can measure on the other frequency while the other receiver is still receiving the user data the second method to identify the signal strength is that the transmission is done in the compressed mode 
that is the data is transmitted with 10 millisecond frame is compressed to 5 millisecond frame and the other 5 millisecond that is a free time slot can be used for the measurement of other frequencies. So this is how UMTS handoff takes place. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.